mostly north of I-64. So here we are, clouds on mix, hot and muggy today. Chance of a couple pop-up showers and thunderstorms. The chance will be higher north of I-64 and actually increase a little bit between about 6 and 11 p.m. before they kind of die on out. And for the day tomorrow, most of that will be dry. A few pop-up storms possible in the afternoon. But we may get a little cluster of thunderstorms that approaches from the west after about 7, 8 o'clock mainly west of I-95. A couple of these could get close to the metro. Heavy downpours and maybe some gusty winds with those. Those will kind of dissipate tomorrow evening. And then on Sunday, the rain chances are pretty low. Maybe just a pop-up shower and a spot or two, but that should be about it. But a lot of us may make it through the entire Friday, Saturday, Sunday period rain-free. That's how scattered and isolated some of these storms will be. Here's Ida. It is a tropical storm at 65 mile an hour winds. It becomes a hurricane at 74 miles an hour, and that will likely happen over the next day or so as it travels across Cuba into this really warm bath-like water of the Gulf of Mexico with water temperatures between 85 and 90, especially as you get closer towards about the New Orleans area. So the National Hurricane Center is forecasting this to become a major hurricane with winds of at least 120 miles an hour and possibly striking near or just to the west of New Orleans as we go into Sunday afternoon. A storm surge there 7 to 11 feet. Once it comes inland, it will weaken quite a bit and the remnants will actually get up here by about next Wednesday. So the heavy rain hits the Gulf Coast. And as a storm comes inland, it starts to weaken, but it'll still have a lot of moisture to deal with and the remnants of that will start to work into the area by about next Wednesday. And that looks to be about our best chance of seeing a soaking rain area wide over the next week. Rain chances the next few days pretty low, about 20 30 percent highs in the low and mid 90s and the afternoon heat index at or above 100 degrees but a cold front's going to work into the area tuesday and wednesday at the same time that moisture from ida comes up here so i actually see significantly cooler temperatures highs in the low 80s some spots may not even get out of the upper 70s these days and we won't be talking about a heat index above 100 degrees those days either